Hello everyone, um, my name is Yuri. Uh, today my topic is about engineering and engineering. So we all know that genetic engineering is being developed very fast uh, now. Um, so I, I believe that uh, people want to benefit from it as, as, as soon. Uh, but uh, this technology is becoming more and more dangerous. Uh, it has a lot of potential uh, reasons for our life. So today, um, today I'm uh, going to talk these few key points uh, to explain why uh, we should prohibit uh, genetic engineering. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about uh, how genetic engineering actually benefits us. First, I will talk about genetic engineering dangerous to biodiversity <laughs> and uh, third thing I want to talk about genetic engineering leading to human human rights. So, uh, because of uh, now there are uh, more and more uh, GMO food, so uh, the natural crops are uh, gradually replaced by uh, GMO crops. And uh, the many company who product the GMO uh, food uh, have controlled a large part of the agricultural market. Now here is an example. Uh, this company is the Samuel Chemical Company. Um, uh, this company, uh, since 1998, uh, it, it starts to produce uh, the GMO uh, seed and the sell to all over the world. And uh, it has controlled a large part of agriculture and human beings. And uh, so uh, it can monopolize the Market and uh, so the farmers uh, cannot uh, benefit cannot benefit from the own uh, farm because of this situation. And uh, the second thing I want to talk about is uh, by diversity is destroyed by uh, GMO crops. So um, this is a kind of Butterfly for the home market. Um, this butterfly become less and less, uh, and the, one of the, the reasons which made make them uh, endangered is GMO crop. Because uh, this butterfly uh, feed on the, the milkweed, and the milkweed is grow around the crop. So because uh, a lot of <coughs> GMO crops show up. GMO crops uh, as a high level resistant, so uh, the milkweed uh, do not grow around them anymore. So uh, the butterfly don't have to create so many growth spaces in them to adapt. And uh, here is a uh, third point I want to talk about the human being. Human being leading a dangerous environment because of genetic engineering. Uh, uh, here, um, genetic engineering uh, can strengthen the biological weapon. Uh, we own biological weapon, one kind of uh, very powerful we weapon uh, in the world. And uh, this weapon uh, uh, can kill a uh, lot of people in a short time and uh, may and uh, people cannot uh, get against uh, this kind of uh, weapon and because of genetic engineering uh, scientists can comb combine the bacteria and uh, make the biological weapon become more powerful and this uh, Weapon is hard to detect, and uh, 
Uh, you just talk about um, the, the G technology will destroy the uh, environment, destroy some species. But how about we develop the in, uh, we develop the technology so that we can save a species in a in a gene aspect, like we can keep all the genes of the animal. Then if we have enough uh, resource, if we have if it's necessary, we can just make one. Because we already have its gene. How about this? It's not destroyed. We keep it and forever. How about make a gene database? <laughs> yeah, if, if you talk about make one is expensive, then make a lot, then it, it will be not expensive to each one. And it's a huge, like a huge thing, huge, huge thing to think about. Yeah, but I think also we should do a Yeah, for Josh of Chester, maybe we find out that we, we can take the genes of a certain species back. The, whenever we want to breed it and put it back to the nature, it can exist because the environment in nature cannot supply this kind of species anymore. So it is, an, uh, it is possible that you um, breed this kind of species uh, um, by human, but you can put it in nature. And what's more about gene database? It's quite a, good, a great suggestion, but what you think is just the uh, proof that this kind of species has existed before. Thank you. Thank you.